nice to meet you. First thing first, because we haven't, we have never had an interview or anything. C'est bon? C'est parti? Mr. Bob Jungles, you are back in Liège. How does it feel? Do you have good memories from this place? Yeah, of course, memories. Uh, memories are great from, from 2018. Uh, yeah, since, right, since 2018, I've been I've been suffering for, for a couple of years now with uh, with injuries, and I'm yeah sl slowly on my way back. But it's always nice to be it's always nice to be back here. I mean, classics is always there are special weeks, and uh, especially that close to close to Luxembourg, there's always lots of Luxembourgish fans, and you see your name uh, in the middle of the road. And um, no, it's 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 always very special, and I'm I'm, I'm very happy to be here. I wanted to ask you because back in the day you won by skating solo from the Roche au Faucon. Alors, tell me, why is the Roche au Faucon such a key point on this race? I mean, uh, when I won it, the, the, the finish was still in uh, still in Aus, so um, there was still uh, San Nicola and, and, and the final climb to, to the finish, so still some uh, some more points to, to attack, but now Roche au Faucon is is more or less the last point to, to really make a difference. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I guess it's the of course after Redoute, it's it's one of the hardest ones and uh, and then um, yeah it's the last one. So it is the last one to make a difference for for the guys that don't go so fast in the sprint. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that's why I guess it's 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 important. With this change of the course, with this route change, you think it is more difficult for a guy to win solo in Liège? I think it's it's probably more difficult because uh, yeah I mean the last let's say uh, yeah last last 15 kilometers are more or less flat or, or downhill. Um, I mean there is uh, there's always a bit more action maybe in the, in uh, in Redoute already which was a bit more quiet the years before but uh, yeah taking out uh, San Nicola and the last uh, the last climb to us is is obviously favoriting more the uh, the riders who are faster in the sprint and can uh, um, maybe yeah, go go from less far. So uh, it changed a bit, but I think um, yeah, it's still it's still a very hard race and uh, I think it's going to be full of action tomorrow. Final final question, what can we expect from Bob Jungles and AJ to RC Train tomorrow? Uh, personally, I, I hope, uh, I hope um, that I can show myself. Um, like I said, I'm yeah, I'm on my way back. It's a long, it's a very long road to uh, to come back to the level I was. Um, like I said, it's uh, it's tough, but I'm uh, I'm yeah, I'm doing my best. I hope to I hope to be up there tomorrow. And um, well, yeah, I think from the team, obviously uh, Benoit is in a very good shape. He's shown in uh, he's shown it in uh, in Amstel and uh, Flesh Babasson. So I believe um, we will back him 100% tomorrow. And um, yeah, I think he's he's one of the guys who can. And who can win at a finish like this, um, obviously, with a, with a very fast uh, sprint. Thank you very much, and good luck for tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.